going on YouTube? It's that's the place to be. Channel Train Mr. Andy back with some more W2K24 news. And yes, we are now officially at that time where we're going to do the ratings reveal and the roster reveal. So we're going to see who is new on the roster and up, up, down, down, post it on their Twitter account. Look what we dug up. Our super sleuths dug into the filing cabinet of one of Gamer Over Greggy's at Discover a Treasure Trove of WWE Game Superstar ratings. Over the next week, we'll be spilling the tea as we give you the WWE 2K ratings reveal, starting with so automatically we got the roster reveal here so guys if you guys are excited for this like i am make sure you hit that uh subscribe button down below to get all the new updates from 32k24 right here on nc studios and make sure you hit that like button because it really helps support the video so without any further ado let's see who they reveal today all right we kick off with dominic mysterio and rhea ripley let's kick off the uh ratings reveal we get a new model of dominic mysterio the hair is longer now dirty dom is looking good and i'm telling you right now i just really love the model i love the detail that's into it as well and along with that we already seen rhea ripley's mom so we don't know how good it is but one thing i do want to point out is we see her giving the version of riptide to tegan knox in here so that confirms tegan knox for the game as well also doing some uh, whispering with dominic in his ear like they do in the entrance and i really love how the entrance looks i don't know if it's part of a full judgment day or if that's just a her and dom like manager type entrance but rhea ripley with a 96 and dom with an 83 that's a hell of an update for rhea ripley and dominic dominic coming up for being 78 and rhea ripley coming up from being i believe it was in the 80s last time uh was in last year's game or maybe even, uh, maybe even low 90s. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But that is a come up for, uh, for them. Next up, we get The Miz. Now, the, this sh I guess a confirmation for The Miz. The Miz has his red and white attire. That I think I remember from last year's Royal Rumble. And then he's in there doing uh, with Damian Priest. We get to finally see the model of Damian Priest. And he looks good. The Miz looks good as well. And, and The Miz, usually they always do pretty good on The Miz's model. But now, so... Uh, the Miz doing the kicks to uh, Damian Priest. So now the Miz is rating, unfortunately, took a little bit of a dip compared to last year's rating, with the Miz being an overall rating of 81, which is a drop from Miz last year being at 85. Coming up next, we have Selena Vega. So we did get a screenshot of Selena Vega before, but now we got to see Selena Vega's model in action. This is her model from Backlash. Of last year when it was in Puerto Rico, the Puerto Rican flag, and I think it looks great. She's in there wrestling with Dakota Kai. We get to see a look at Dakota Kai's model, and both models look good. I'm glad they picked this version of Selena Vega and this outfit to have with her because I really enjoy the Puerto Rican pride that she has, especially from Backlash. And now, this time, Selena Vega is no longer Queen Selena. She's just Selena Vega, and she comes in with a rating of still staying the same as it was last year with a 74 overall. And I think that's a good a good number for her because she hasn't really changed much in the year. Next up, we have Kevin Owens. KO from SmackDown. So Kevin Owens, uh, he has a, uh, his model always looks good. Kevin Owens is in there. He has some uh, in reaction with AJ Styles. We finally get to see the model of AJ Styles. Now this is obviously a model uh, in the attire AJ had before he came back out wearing all the black and stuff like that because he came back a little bit too late to even add it in there. But communication is going to be uh, probably add that up. But Kevin Owens looks good in here as well. Kevin Owens has a rating of 86, which is, I think, is a downgrade from last year, which he was at an 87, I believe. And wrapping up this year, uh, this part of the ratings reveal is Logan Paul. Logan Paul, again, in a 2k game and local paul like i said he had a really good year he's now the united states champion and uh, a couple things i've seen that they have put the buckshot lariat in the uh back again it was a dlc last year but now it's back in there and i like to use it going up against humberto so that confirms them giving him overall rating of 90. yes logan paul is up a lot with 90. i think he believed he was an 84 last year but now he's a 90. What an upgrade for Logan Paul. I know Logan Paul is good. I don't know if I would have gave Logan Paul 90, but still, I mean, good good lord. I mean, he's done a lot, but 90? 
that's what that's all we have for the ratings reveal today i know that all throughout the week so probably even tomorrow and sunday gonna be more of those but that's not where it ends just yet because we got some screenshots that we gotta go over as well that 2k released on their twitter account they released a screenshot of the people's champion the rock who's now hollywood rock and i'm telling you right now I, i'm enjoying heel rock but that's not the that's not the groundbreaking one the groundbreaking one is that they showed a screenshot of let me holla at your player Teddy Long. That's right. Teddy Long is going to be in W2K24. And it could go by the screenshot. I don't even know how. If it's going to be in a manager role. Or it, uh, I'm hoping GM uh, GM mode. But I mean we actually see him out there in the ring. Teddy Long has never been a playable character before. But they even have to be able to pick him as a manager. Will be dope. Or if they're going to have cutscenes now with managers in GM mode. I don't know. I just know. Let me holla at your player. Teddy Long is there. And I've been wanting to play Teddy Long in GM mode. Since GM mode came back out. So I mean come on. Oh, man, I have a Tay Long in here. Tag team match player and one on one with The Undertaker. All stuff is going to be great. That blew my mind. And honestly, I was out working when somebody uh, contacted me on YouTube was talking about some. Hey, yo, they got Tay Long in the game. I was like, what? In what capacity? Like, like what, what, what's going on here? If it was like GM, like, we just see a picture, but cool. I mean, still, I'll be happy with that. But see him in a screenshot out there with his model in there, it looks great. Now, there also could be a thing where they, they said they got seven referees under contract to use their likeness in this game. Tay Long was all referee, so if we got some classic matches, maybe Tay Long could be the referee in there, also be pulling double duty. Who knows? I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are excited for it. And guys, that was the roster reveal that we got today. So obviously, it's more of a range reveal. We, we already knew these ones were in the game, but obviously, when you see them fighting other people in the ring, you get more small confirmations. I don't know how we're going to speed this up. We're going to have all one day when they just revealed everything. I'm not necessarily sure, but that's usually how, how they've been doing it for the past couple years. But if you guys want more updates on that, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Get all the updates right here on NC Studios. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed my react. Uh, well, enjoy my breakdown of it and once again subscribe here for more so once again this is NCM place to be children understand the end the nerd coalition is out